What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and Microsoft Teams, and we're going to look at the action which is add a member to a team. This is a brand new preview action that allows you to dynamically add new team members to teams. Previously, this wasn't available through Power Automate. You could do it by calling um, the Microsoft Graph, and this I think is just a reformat or a reskin of a Microsoft Graph action in a nice, neat Power Automate action. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger flow because I just want to trigger my flow. Next, I can click on New Step. And then I can go to Microsoft Teams. And then I can choose this action here that says Add a member to a team preview. So here it's asking me for two pieces of required information, so two required parameters here. So we have the team. In this instance, I'm going to choose my MTJ demo team. This is my demo team that I've been using through all these videos, and the one we're going to use today. The next thing that we need is the user AAD ID for the user to add to the team. So what that means is we want the, the user's Azure AD, so Active Directory Identification, um, for the user to add to the team. So this is a GUID of the user themselves. So what you need to do if you have access is you need to go into your Azure AD portal. You need to go to active your Azure AD Active Directory, um, your Azure Active Directory. They need to find the user and then they have an object ID. You copy that to your clipboard and then you can put it into here. I've already got one in my clipboard and so I use that for today. In, in reality, what you would probably do is you would probably use one of these your connectors. You would uh, maybe pass in, say, their name or something like that. You'd get their ID back, and you would um, you would use that in here. But for for convenience sakes and for this video, I'm just going to show you copy and paste and an ID in. So I'm just going to copy and paste that from my clipboard. Um, that's the Azure uh, Active Directory ID. And then I can click on Show New Options, and I can say, um, should the newly added user be an owner of the team? Uh, and the sort of hint text here is the new member should be an owner, and then it's like yes or no. If you don't select anything, it's going to default to no, so they will not be an owner of the team, they'll just be a member of the team. If you choose yes, they will be a member of the team. So I'm going to choose no in this instance. So we're going to save and we're going to test. So we'll click on test. I'll perform a trigger action, save and test. Before I actually run it, I'm just going to show you my team quickly. This is my team. You can see I have zero guests in my team at the moment. I can't do anything with that. If I go back to my flow and click on run the flow, click done. Flow is running. And let's see, there's a new member been added. Some some body and some output details here, some header stuff. Go back to Microsoft Teams. We can now see we do have a one there in the guest. And we can see that my colleague Andrew has been added to this team. So that's how this action works. So we do need the Azure AD um, ID of the user themselves to be able to actually trigger this flow. So we could get that from one of the Azure connectors, um, like maybe, I think there's an Azure ID connector that you can use. So you could go off, look at those records and come back and, and give me the ID. Um, I just copied and pasted it in for this. So I think this will be useful, especially if you have um, like processes for onboarding people. So if you potentially have a Microsoft team that you use for um, like a, maybe like a membership forum, um, so the Virtual Power Group is a great example of this. They use Microsoft Teams as their forums. Um, we you know they do live events in there. I do a flow surgery in there. Shout out to the Virtual Power Group. They're a great bunch. Um, but they use Microsoft Teams. So you fill in a form uh, that goes off to Azure Active Directory, and then we add people to the team as well. Um, I say we, it's not me, it's not me, uh, Claire does all, she's great. So there we have it, that is a great use of something like this. So I want to know, do you guys use this, use this new action? It is in preview. Previously you had to use Microsoft Graph to do this, so have you switched over to this yet? Have you not? Are there drawbacks? Let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video useful, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button to stay up to date all my latest videos. I'll see you next time.